so this is uh, your online lecture for our new chapter solid state welding process so solid state welding process refers to a family of process that produces welds without the requirement for molten metal so basically what happens is that in solid state welding uh, we do not require any melting process solid state welding process theory basically it emphasizes on the process on the fact that the driving force for two work piece or for two pieces of material that we want to join uh, they should basically exist uh, without any defects or contaminations so if i want to join any work piece two materials in solid state welding process then those two metal surfaces or work piece should not have any oxides contaminants or surface roughness once these oxides or contaminants are eliminated then what happens is that uh, a solid joint can be created uh, based on the fact that a metallic joint is created or a metallic bond is formed all solid state uh, welding process are based on this concept and use some combination of heat so basically what we need to, to do is apply heat pressure and time to overcome these barriers and these barriers include oxides contaminants and surface roughness the approaches of solid state welding are basically divided in various types such as friction welding, diffusion welding, explosion welding, ultrasonic welding, etc. We will go into the types of welding in the other slides. So uh, there are various advantages and disadvantages of solid state welding process. Uh, for instance, in solid state welding process, there is uh, no chance for the formation of defects. We are not melting a material. When we are not melting a material, then the defects are not formed pores, inclusions, uh, slags, solidification cracks, etc. are not formed because we are just joining two materials together uh, without uh, with, with the application of heat, pressure or time as well as time. So solid uh, state welding process also do not require any consumable materials, any filler materials, electrodes uh, which are consumable etc. Another advantage of uh, solid state welding process is that uh, uh, dissimilar materials such as copper, iron, iron, titanium, titanium, aluminium, magnesium, aluminium, different combination of materials or dissimilar materials can be jointed very conveniently. But then each, uh, each uh, process has its own disadvantages as well. So the disadvantages of solid state welding process are that they are a bit uh, expensive. The equipment uh, that are used to produce solid state welding process are uh, typically quite expensive they are limited to certain joint designs and uh, basically uh, it is difficult to do non-destructive testing on these material because uh, uh, there is we cannot identify the metallurgical bond quite easily through our naked eyes or visually so they are limited to certain operating uh, conditions and uh, and the equipment is a bit expensive as well as only certain joints such as lab joint or bird joint can be uh, welded together. So this was more or less an introduction to solid state welding process. But what is the mechanism for 